Oh, guys, we're in actual trouble. I think Tomoe is dead. What are we going to do without Tomoe? Of course, she's not fucking dead. You really think that the humans that did this shit is going to, you know, be able to kill Tomoe? No, I think that they were doing something, you know, the humans, the, the blonde girl and their group that we got to the Illustrious City, right? They saw the armory. They're trying to steal shit. Somehow we heard like an explosion. So I think it's fair to assume that little Tomoe, the fragment kind of got injured. And that's why Tomoe is injured right now. So this is going to lead for a great moment for hopefully Mako to get really pissed off and perhaps even kill the humans. I don't know. Let's begin today's reaction, though. This is the most damage she's ever taken, man. I hope Makoto gets pissed off, dude. Holy shit. Whoa. That is more than a regular explosion. That's a fucking crater. Did a fucking meteor hit? What? What? Goodbye. Ominous title. Bro has no stamina. Oh. He can heal. I mean, we can heal too in our Kai barrier thing, right? Uh, I mean, the undead has just become a fucking husband, though, who can do everything now. No! Our poor orcs! No! They hurt little Emma! I mean, no, it's not little Emma, but it kind of looks like a little Emma, right? Dude, they got fucked up, dude. He can't heal? Why? Why can't he? There's a, there's a distinct, there's a distinction between how Mr. Alki is healing and how we're healing. Because we heal a Kai, it has no effect on him. But why? It's, it's, it's healing with Kai, but it's not the same as healing magic, so you can't do it. But it's like, what's the... I, I, I don't know, whatever. What about little Tomoe, though? Is little Tomoe okay? What is his mana doing all over this place? Wait, what? Little Tomoe or the orcs? Is this why you guys said don't make fun of this guy's voice last episode? Because you guys knew that this guy's gonna die? No. This guy's not dead. No shot. Really? No shot. No, he's still alive! He's still alive! He's still alive! He's still trying to stop them? Oh my god. What the fuck happened? The fuck? That's right. That's what we were talking about. How we were like compressing our like focus and mana to the point where it looked like we died. What's beyond the- uh oh This bitch is- Wait, wait. No, this is good, this is good. The more we get to fucking get angry at her, the better the payoff is gonna be. No, not little Emma! Oh, dude, no, no. Oh, my God, dude. Oh, my fucking God. We need to absolutely torture them. They're the fucking worst. Okay, that's the cutoff of the necklace. He's not dead. Oh, wait, is that the ring with our fucking mana in it? That's why we can see the mana residue, right? Because the, the ring can store the mana, the color red implies that's our fucking mana in there. Then it, That's what the source of the explosion was. It came from the bag there. Oh, I, so it's like, I thought that the humans like somehow constructed, they were so smart to like set up a bomb. Like, I don't know, by themselves. But it's like, I, how the fuck would they do that? They're so stupid. But even this explosion was a fucking mistake. You, oh my God, dude. And then little Tomoe tries to seal it. Damn. So, we, technically, the explosion is our fault. Well, well it's not. It, it, it is the source of it. It's just fucking dangerous. But even then, I feel like little Tomoe, just like protecting it with the water seal, eventually like protected the humans, maybe? Like, they don't fucking deserve this shit. So they fucking survived just because we protected their own fucking mistake? This is a huge realization, though. Will Makoto actually break? Oh, it's the fucking protection spell again. Fuck you. Fuck you. I don't care how much gyat you're throwing me right now. I hate you. I can't believe that we fucking protected. The, I, I hate them. I hate them so much, dude. Nah. -uh. uh uh. Uh uh. Uh uh. Makoto! Makoto! 
you know what vibes I'm getting right now? Dark Makoto vibes. I don't know. He, he, I, sometimes I think that he looks like Iruma from you know Welcome to I Welcome to Demon School Iruma Kun right when he has his tie hair tied up. This is like uh this this is like uh the evil Iruma showing up, dude. Holy fuck! We're about to see an actual main character moment. First time we're seeing without the mask. <laughs> You're still fucking calling him ugly. Yo, I think he's kind of lost his sense. Oh, because she can't understand. Are we about to cross a bridge that can't be returned? Wait, wait, wait. You know she's gonna die. The explosion opened the mosquito, okay. Oh my god. Dude, look at his mouth. Even his look on his eyes. Everything is so fucking twisted, right? This entire moment. Oh my god, dude. To see a main character like that, a main character like this actually fucking go off. Okay, this might be the defining moment of when this show becomes fucking goaded. Yo, do something unhinged. Ooh. What are we gonna do to her? We can still do it! What, you gonna fight? 96, no way! That's right! So is the orc actually dead? The guy with the high pitched voice is actually dead? Oh! Oh! She can't even fucking reach us! This is just a Kai right now, huh? Oh, them arms are gone. Yeah, no arms are gone! No arms! Bitch, get up. Get up! Oh, that's a knee, actually. Okay. Previous episodes, I was wondering, who is the final boss? You know, who's the final villain? And I was thinking, the goddess never gave us a mission to kill the demon lord. In fact, they think that we already are the demon lord when we approach them with the, ex with the extreme amount of mana we're doing. And, and, and at that point, I thought, okay, maybe we are actually just going to be the bad people or we're going to wage war against the goddess. But right now, this is like doubling down. <laughs> I think that we're seeing traces of a demi-human befeating of a demon lord. I don't know. I kind of do want Mako to do. Listen, she's obviously a nice person. I think that good and evil is relative. And I think this human absolutely deserves it. And if we need to assume the role of some kind of demon lord, the antagonist, even though that we know that we're good, I'm perfectly fine with that shit. Let's go. That's right. The humans are so racist. They're so mean. I'm sure Tomoe's fragment, we can make another one, right? It should be fine. Unpleasant sound. Bro is straight up just saying. You humans are fucking disgusting. Oh my god. How about a little bit of racism right back at you? Oh! No, don't kill her though yet. No, no, it's too easy. Torture her more. That's too quick. That was too quick. He's crying though. Are these tears of happiness? This is a very fucked up way of processing how you feel about your first death. What is this feeling? But he's not sad. Is he sad? Okay. Surely these are tears for the young orc and little fragments of Tomoe, right? I think this is an actual defining character moment for our character, like Makoto right now. That entire sequence... Okay, so far I I've told you guys that I thought Skimichi Moonlit Fantasy was... Not ski mid fantasy, but there has never been a moment where I thought that, okay, this is the moment that I'm like all into this show. So far, it's just been a very cozy time, very fun, very comfortable. But this sequence of events, this is the first time I've seen potential from this show <laughs> where I feel like this could, yeah, this, I, I think this is a really good show. <laughs> just. Which, which is a lot about me because this is just the main character just fucking torturing and just killing this human mercilessly. But I love that edge. I love the coldness about him. He literally was like, oh, this is my first death. So this is what it feels like. Oh, this is, this is so nice. Look how unhinged this is. Look at this shit. It's like you don't expect like this seemingly soft boy, right? To snap like this. But he actually fucking snapped. It's always exactly when a kind guy snaps, it's always a blast away. Exactly. I feel like we've been set up for 11 episodes to think that Makoto has been a very sweet, like a nice kid. But it's like, no, he's fucking twisted in the head. 
I can't believe the young orc actually fucking died after I made fun of him last episode. I just feel terrible. But like Tomu is fragment, you should be able to just get it back, right? Like, you know, she's probably like, oh, here's, here's another fragment. Here it is. Damn, they didn't even have corpses. Salute. Wait, what about Tomoe? Wait, 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 where, where's Tomoe right now? Because she got injured pretty hard, remember? She started coughing up blood. I hope she's okay. He's starting to understand a little bit more though, huh? Oh, there she is. Oh, his name is Shiki. His voice is so soft. <laughs> About how they saw us? An insolent adventure. I think Tomo is too down to kill the humans too. The contracts are messing with his personality? Is that what they're implying right now? So basically, he's been super goody two-shoes, but there has been moments where he somehow kind of gets a little bit more annoyed, aggressive. There has definitely been little moments where he just gets pissed off. He gets kind of angry, and I thought that, okay, this is just not that big. It's like an annoying situation where one of the, you know, the alchemy maestro might have tripped and fucking fell down with the potion. I think it's deserved that he yelled at him, but like, you're telling me the contract is somehow actually twisting his personality to the point where he, you know, became the king of the demiplane. Fucking just ready to kill the human? No? Is that just his personality? Is he getting effect influenced by other people? Or no? Okay. Sure, sure. I just want to know the influence of their contracts, though. Okay. And the connection we formed probably caused it. So it did influence it. Like his emotional response there to the human right there. Your uncontrollable emotional response, right? So this is influencing his per psyche and his personality, right? I don't know, that's what she's saying. Uh, 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 you made a connection too without my consent, remember? Yeah, the contract. So he can just share their powers though. When they trust each other, like right now, his servant's abilities manifest uncontrollably. So in times of the emergency, right? So you have to have utmost trust between both sides of the contract in order to like actually like be able to use their skills. But sometimes if you don't have that, in times of dire emergency, just like how we did just now, then uncontrollably, randomly, their abilities can just manifest. Okay? Okay? She's just jealous that Mio's powers didn't activate instead of Tomoe's. <laughs> relax, relax! <laughs> If he, every one of you have formed bonds, maybe the bond is different from contract. That blood sucking scene was very sus. Pierce? Penetrate? Did... Did we stab her? Did we? The first fight? Maybe? Oh, that attack. Dude, Shiki just gets shit on by these two so much. You can see skeleton leaving. Alright, we're back to goofy moments. Alright, we're back. CGI. CGI wood. CGI construction. No, I, I want us to go back to the evil Makoto though. Alright, whatever. He's fine now. No, you're one of our kind now. Also, now we kind of know that those rings that we store mana in can be just used like an explosive weapon, huh? Wonder if that will ever matter in the future? You just, you know, we've got our situation, we just take one ring off, just yeet, just throw out of them, explosion. He still feels guilty? Yeah. <laughs> 
personally, I want something like that to happen again. Like, this is this is amazing. <laughs> Whenever our own kind gets attacked, right? Then Makoto goes fucking insane, wipes them out. Like, that's great. Do it more, please. ドアフの武具は今後を継いげで扱う品物を慎重に管理してほしい。ああ、セキニを持って統括します。ああ、リトルオークス。フューチャーキャノンファーダー。よく彼と一緒にいた。no, his only friend! I'm sorry. Jesus Christ, I can't believe I made fun of that high-pitched orc for you. I mean, I'm sure you guys did too when you first time watching this. Kind of cult-like. They're like, it's fine. He died for your, your, uh, your mission. Hmm. What about little Tomoe? Are we going to get a new fragment soon? ちょっとね。悪の。決めた。おい。Alright, neutral lands, no one can bother us. Alright, neutral lands, no one can bother us. Alright, neutral that I'm trying to monopolize Ambrosia and fuck you? Oh. Ew, you're so ugly. Please put it back on. Ew. <laughs> really? Is he that bad? Like, look at these two. I, I, it's, it's not even. Okay, that, this, this is the one of the few things that this show makes no fucking sense on. It's, it's the fact that apparently he's ugly because he's, he's uh, not a human. Like, it's just, look at you two. This is not bad at all! And like, if you think about it, if you really think about it, we learned last episode what grants are. These are otherworldly beings, like, sorry, these are humans that can, tra like, you know, travel to other worlds. Our parents are humans, right? They're hot. They're considered attractive. They had a kid, but just because their kid was born on Earth, it's ugly? But if it was born here, it'd be hot? How does that make sense, right? How, how does that actually make... The beauty standards are so high my ass, because look at these two. You, you tell me these two are better looking than Makoto? I think they look the fucking same, dude. I think they look... Un unless the goddess put some kind of fucking curse on us where we actually are perceived as extra ugly, even though we're not, that makes sense. But the fact that... Okay, and, and, and here's another thing. The limitation of this show is that you cannot have a main character be so fucking ugly, right? You can't. They have to be marketable. They need to be, at a certain point, at least the minimum, like a 6.5 out of 10, you know? It's, it's gotta look good. So, like, he can't be... He can't be super hot, because obviously the logic of this show, humans are just the most attractive things and everything else that's not. But at the same time, you can't let the main character look really ugly. It's bad for marketing. But I just, I just don't see him, man. I think he looks perfectly normal. I think he's perfectly, to totally normal. I don't care. Yeah, the bullshit is... That's another thing. Good point. His face is similar to a demi-human? No! That was another bullshit comparison. You showed two fucking faces of the guy that fell down that lost his bag and Makoto. They showed up side to side. Sure, the facial structure, the size of the eyes look the same. But if you look at Makoto here compared to the other humans, he doesn't look that ugly in my opinion. I really don't think so. So whenever you have a moment like this, oh my god, you're so ugly. Look at yourselves. I don't see it. They're, being, they're trying to be so nice. They're trying to be so nice, dude. Cap. Cap. He's slang so hard. Oh yeah. No no. I, I still trust you even though you're ugly as fuck. No, he's lying! I'm pretty sure he's lying right now. Maybe he's not lying? I don't know. Like, yeah. Like Are we equals here? Are we are, are we equally ugly here? He's not even though. Whatever. What happened to Shiki? 
I like it when she pouts like that, though. <laughs> Dude, they keep doing this thing where his fucking skeleton soul tries to leave. Bro's gonna die again. Oh, he's actually going! He's actually going! Wait! The Styx River. And we see the river again. Oh, I want him to destroy some towns. Fuck it. Because Mew and, you know, Tomoe might. The girl human? The blonde one? Because he's starting to really realize how, like, the discrimination, how the humans actually perceive us demi-humans. Of how they really think about us? I wonder if the... Because, like... Would Rembrandt... Does Rembrandt have the same level of, like, human eliteness? Compared to us, maybe? Are, are every human just that evil? Or did the god? are some people just like exceptionally evil? Uh, maybe the more hotter, there, there must be like a hot scale too, right? So maybe like the more attractive you are as a human, the more like, you know, racist and prejudiced you become. Yeah, I want to know more about Grants too, yeah. 10% chance to cross the world. Academy? Wait, 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 wait. a cat, school? School are coming? Wait, 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 wait. wait. School tournament arc? Wait, what? what? Just kind of give him a DVD <laughs> dialogue of. Sorry, DVD just backlog of his memories? Okay. Some more common writer shit? Transformers? Give in my ass! You took that so easily. New demi plane species? Oh, they can join, yeah? I like them. <laughs> you make a great body. I mean, poster girl. That's right, poster girl, not bodyguard. <laughs> you totally didn't listen to the bodyguard part, but okay. Bye bye. Yo, I mean, we only have one episode left, but we're entering like this new arc, academy arc. The goddess. What? Whoa, 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 what? What the fuck just happened? What the fuck just happened? She found... What? What? We were just about to leave. Everything is looking pretty good. Good music is playing. And the goddess just nukes us? He didn't get hit though. Transportation? He just teleported us? <gasps> Transported by the goddess. Against the demons, the heroes? Whoa, 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 whoa. What, 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 war? War? Did I not pay attention? I feel like all of a sudden they're like, hmm, finally. The stage is set. It's time for the war. It's like, excuse me? I didn't know. Okay. Some hype shit is about to happen. He's gone. He's gone. Oh my god. Oh. Oh, wait. Let's see that flip again. Boop, boop, boop. Cameraman, come on. A little bit better. Oh, nice cameraman. But okay. The goddess has basically just fucking summoned us. And we're about to fight some people. Okay. Damn. Is this a human? Why is he holding his hand? Did he just cut our hand? Right? Yo, is that her fingers? He straight up doesn't have fingers? <laughs> and he's a fucking archer too! What about, what about the archery? Okay? Sophia. Looks like Mitsurugi and Sophia. Ah. Okay, so we have a little Shota and got a big sister type with a huge ass. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Am I looking too deep into this? Or is the fact that this is red means that mana has been imbued into this too, just like her rings? I don't know, but they look like really strong people, yeah? And she said your sword, right, to the boy, but she's holding the sword. Why? It's his, his sword? Yeah, she looks pretty strong. But it's the end of the episode. Fuck! Yo, I think this episode is definitely the best episode, right? Well, I don't know. Maybe next episode's gonna surpass this one. And I was thinking, like, damn, this really felt like the finale type of shit, you know? Like, this could have been straight up the finale episode. We got a huge, you know, drama happening. We resolve it. Insane fucking development of Makoto's character, where his personality is so fucking twisted. I've never seen something like this 
And I love it when, you know, the good character turns kind of bad. You know, it's like the corrupt, dark Makoto, right? The last time I remember shit like this was like uh, Iruma-kun from Welcome to Demon School, where Iruma turns into like evil Iruma. I love that shit, right? Oh my god. And the rest of it was like, okay, we're kind of setting down. We got like a new academy arc we're going to go to. We're setting up for like the demon war with the humans. And like everything is looking pretty good. And this could have ended right there. It could have just ended season one conclusion. But it's like, nah, the goddess is like, there you are, bitch. Get over here. So she was actually trying to find us the entire time. She was just trying to find us. I got you. I wonder why it has a news been spreading of Makoto's, you know, feats across the, the plane. And she's like, oh, that fucker again. I remember him. And then she summons us into this alternate dimension where we're fighting these two people. And the... What were... Right, right, right over here, right? The name was different, right? Limia and Gritonia, right? That's the two heroes for them. I thought that these two were supposed to be Limia and Gritonia, but no, different name. Mitsurugi and something else. And that, that thing, the red color. Is it the fucking mana? I don't know, but next episode's gonna be fucking hype. Yo, again, I thought that... Again, I I, I don't want to, like, lie to you guys and say, wow, Skimichi Moonless Fantasy has been, like, the best show I've ever seen. It's not. In all the isekais, I think it's pretty average it's a comfortable cozy show but there hasn't been like a moment where i've truly been like oh yeah this is it i think this episode is it i think this episode is like oh oh i'm invested there's more shit happening we get to see more of our main character be someone else something way more hype i'm fucking all in. if we get to see more of this let's fucking go but i feel like we're not gonna get to see more of this right like you have to save these like corrupt dark makoto scenes for really important futures that you know we're not gonna get every episode but next episode should be still fucking hype as we're gonna fight these two people that the goddess has sent against us but that's it from us hey if you're still here if you enjoyed this reaction please like the video check out the other playlist for more content and until next time take care